Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Hey Iggy, hopefully you know that this is supposed to be a kind and respectful response to you in your video. If you don't know, me and Iggy, as I have nicknamed her, are mutuals and we actually did a live stream together on the topic of atheism and Christianity. And you can check out that live stream here. But I do think that this potential inconsistency with regards to a Christian understanding of salvation should be pointed out such that Christians can take the opportunity to clarify it both for themselves and for their gospel presentation to non-believers. Of course, the gospel message is a central aspect of Christian belief, and so it needs to be understood well. With all of that said, yes, grace is a free gift from God, and salvation is a gift from God, and it is distinguished from works. But hold on a minute, how exactly is salvation free if it costs you your life? Whether that's in a real physical literal sense or some kind of spiritual sense. So here's an analogy that might be helpful. Imagine a poor person or a beggar that is on the street. Now imagine that this person who is in desperate need of financial and po probably other forms of help as well. Imagine that someone approaches this individual and wants to give them something. Now notice that the poor person has not done anything to receive this gift. Another individual, out of the kindness of their heart, has chosen to help this individual in whatever way that they can. I believe that this is analogous to the gospel, although not perfect. God reaches down his hand to the unbeliever to give him a free gift, and the poor person can choose to deny that or resist that, say I don't want that, or to accept it. It's free because you didn't do anything to get the gift, just like the poor person did not do anything to receive help. And in this analogy, and in this case, we're specifically talking about justification, or being made right or just before God. That is the aspect of salvation that is free. One must simply accept the gift or repent and believe in order to be saved. It should furthermore be noted that the gospel message brings liberation and freedom to the oppressed both physically and spiritually. So when we're talking about it being free, we are referring to the initial point of justification and we are also referring to the freedom that we have in Christ. We are the poor person on the street who are in need of help. And I would encourage you, of course, and everyone who is watching this video to accept God's help, accept God's gift, and be saved.